Last night was a big shocker to me, and I do believe to majority of the world, to find out that our king, Chadwick Boseman, had passed away due to colon cancer. It says that Chadwick had been, been battling colon cancer since 2016 and died at home with his family and wife by his side, according to a statement posted on his Twitter account. He was only 43 years old. <laughs> I, I think for me, it's... Is a little bit more of for one, I didn't know no nope, I didn't know he was sick or he had cancer or what stage he was at. And another thing, he was really young. This was a young man. Chadwick was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer in twenty sixteen, which eventually progressed to a stage four before twenty twenty. Bozeman had not spoken publicly about his cancer diagnosis, doing treatment, multiple surgeries and chemotherapy. He continued to work and completed filming for several films, including Marshalls, The Five Bloods, and others. Chadwick died at his home of complications related to colon cancer on August 28, 2020, with his wife and his family by his side. His death was announced on his social media accounts. I want to talk about some of um, Chadwick's accomplishments. He did attend and graduate from Howard University. He premiered in a lot of television shows. Also, he played in a few movies. I'm going to name a few. 42, Draft Day, Get On Up, ha, Get On Up, Ow! The Avengers, which we already know about that. The Five Bloods, and another one I'm going to mention is Marshall. Back in 2018 for the MTV Movie and TV Awards, he won for Best Performance in a Movie. Also, he won Best Hero. In 2019 for the Screen Actors Guild Awards, he won Outstanding Performance by Cass in a Motion Picture. Also, for the NAACP Image Awards, he won for Outstanding Actor in a Motion Picture Award, which is rich is pretty, pretty cool. Now, this is something new to me and maybe old to you all, but I didn't know back in 2018 at the MTV Movie Awards when Chad, Chadwick won, he gave his award to the Waffle House hero. And I'll read in quotes, Receiving an award for playing a superhero is amazing, but it's even greater to acknowledge the heroes that we have in real life, Bozeman said. So I just want to acknowledge somebody that's here today. James Shaw Jr., where are you? Stan, if you don't know James Shaw Jr., he fought off a gunman in Tennessee at a Waffle House. He saved lives. Come on up here. Shaw took to stage and Bozeman handed him the Golden Popcorn Award. This is going to live at your house. This guy was most definitely a very, very humble, humble guy. Now, back in 2020, um, Fox News covered um, a story regarding to Avengers star Chadwick Boseman leaves fans fearing for his health after a video reveals dramatic weight loss. The question that was asked was, Chadwick Boseman, is he okay? That's the question fans are demanding answers to after 42 year old actor posted a video to his Instagram where he appears more, much thinner in the face. The video was initially posted to his main Instagram feed where he paid tribute to Jackie Robinson. Now, I think back in April is where, you know, folks were making the question like, were, or is he okay? Why does he look so thin? Is it for a movie? You know, folks that follow him, they just want the answers. They said, um, Bozeman purpose of the video was to applaud a partnership with Thomas and Figs who had contributed 4.2 million for the purchase of protective medical gear in African American communities affected by, you know, what's going on right now. But it ended up being the actor's seemingly dramatic weight loss that captivated his followers' attention as several pleaded to know if he was feeling all right. Let me just say this. When you are a celebrity or socialite, and are you someone in the social media realm and you are popular or famous, people are going to ask questions. If you gain weight, they're going to know that, okay, is, is everything okay? Are you stressed? Are you depressed? Are you going through something? But when you lose weight, it causes more concern because people are like, okay, is he ill? Is she ill? Is um everything okay? Are they preparing for a movie? Because sometimes people do lose weight to prepare for a movie. So, But people just really, really want to know and maybe him taking down that video because he probably got tired of people asking. And this is back in April of 2020. So maybe around that time is when this, you know, the illness really was taking on full throttle and it wasn't stopping. But I can tell you one thing to, to go through that, to just hearing about how long he's been through it since 2016 
to, I mean, this guy was at events. This guy at Comic-Con events, on interviews, going on TV, you know, doing TV interviews. This was a strong guy. And to fight a long fight for four years, some people fight longer than that. Some people still fighting right now. But, you know, it only proves when somebody fight, I mean, that guy was fighting to live. You know, it's just that that illness got the best of him. And to just come out, even though he had all this chemotherapy, all these, you know, medication he probably was taking, treatments, and to still come out. And whenever you see him out and about, you saw a smile on his face. You didn't see, you know, you didn't see him slumped over. He probably put all the energy he had to come out there and, and give his best to everybody. Now I would like to move on to the merchandise side of things. I'm I'm a Disney um collector, so I can tell you far as the lounge fly is concerned, that Black Panther backpack, the black one with the purple, I can't remember the price before, but I can tell you right now that backpack going for two to five hundred dollars. Might be a little bit more than that. So just expect a lot of Black Panther merchandise to go to be either double or five times the retail cost. I just want to let you all know that. So if you're interested in getting anything Black Panther, you might want to try to get it now. Um, I can tell you right now, folks who sell t-shirts were actually up probably all night like making Black Panther t-shirts. You know we still wearing the mask thing, so expect to see a lot of Black Panther masks being sold or worn as well. But as far as merchandise is concerned, if you're interested in getting a t-shirt, pants, shirt, jumper, rumper, whatever you want to get, I would suggest go to go to those particular stores that sell Black Panther merchandise or toys or figures, whatever you need to get, and get it while you can because I can tell you what, a lot of folks are going to be going to the stores today to get any Black Panther merchandise they can get their hands on, whether it's for them to keep it or to resell it. Keep this in mind. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I want to send out my condolences to Chadwick Bozeman family. Um, just want to let you all know that he will always and forever be our King T'Challa. Black Panther, Wakanda forever. He will always, you know, live in our hearts, you know. And for those out there, let me tell you something. Please do not entertain people when they were like, oh, you never met the man. You, you don't even know him. What y'all crying for? What y'all upset for? Don't entertain people like that, y'all. Please. I've seen that with other celebrities pass away. Um, people make comments. I see people go back and forward with it. Please do not entertain those folks, all right? And the thing is, people might say, are they right or are they wrong? Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Some people are going to agree. Some people are not. Just don't entertain that, okay? That's just what I'm saying. Let's just let's just focus more on the positivity. Let's talk about what the positive things he's done. If it's something positive he has done and I didn't mention it, put it in the comment section below. Let's talk about that. Let's celebrate the life that he he had when he was here, all right? And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me, all right? And if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down button. Just hit a button, all right? This smile is something I'm always going to remember because, like I mentioned before, anytime I would see him on anything, for us television-wise, you will always see this gorgeous smile. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off on here and... Chadwick Bozeman, you will always be a king in my heart.